Welcome back to the Talos Principle. It seems the computer wants my attention. So I think it's time to have another conversation. I have decided, on reflection, to ignore the fact that your picture of how the world should work has more holes than Swiss cheese. In fact, just in case you do by some outside chance prove to be right, I'd like to sign up for the gang. If you're in charge of the Ark, who will, who will be first aboard when the floods come? What does one have to do to be valued above all others? Uh... What does one have to do to be valued above all others? I, d I don't even understand the question. Who will be the first aboard, aboard when the floods come? I don't know. Be alive? Sure. So the grass has the same rights in your world as a person does. Is that it? How would that even work? Community service for people who step on the lawn? I think you must have confused the question. Why don't you try again? None of these answers make any sense. To be valued above all others, all others, you have to be a contributing person. You have to be, con I guess, conscious. I suppose the industrial slaughter of animals for meat is on a moral par with genocide. Then. Would you really save a chihuahua just as soon as a fellow person? I want to say the animals' lives are worth the same as any other conscious being. That's more of an ideal than anything, though. I know in reality I don't actually feel that way, you know? I might say that, but I don't really believe it. Let's go down that road. Okay, fine. You're a hippie. I get it. Me, I think it's madness. But all I've got to gain from arguing with you is a headache. Just tell me one thing. You set the barrier to entry stupidly low. If even the rats are getting rights now, you must have a spot on your table left for me, right? Of course. Well, I might throw you off, off the arc because you're a fucking prick, but... I'll give you a shot. I expected no less of someone as open-minded as yourself. Very well. If by some miracle this fantasy of yours becomes reality, and I suppose all other possible outcomes are equally implausible, at least I know I'll have a pew on the arc. See ya. Don't worry, I'll download you onto a flash drive before I leave. Let's do... this one. Jammer Quarantine. I can use this fan blade to hold this down, which will keep that open, and then I can use the jammer to open up the force field behind that force field. What's going on back here? Oh, 
Oh, right, this is where I need to actually go. So I need to get blue power back here, or the jammer. Either one would be perfectly fine. Connected to all the things! So, wait a minute, what's this for? Oh, so it needs power from both the blue, and it needs both blue power, and it needs the switch. For the fan to turn on. Okay. So this opens up the force field to get the box. This gives me another connector. Okay, so I have two connectors, one box, and one one jammer that's stuck in there to work with. Hey, is that a snowman? There's a freaking snowman right there. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get up there at some point. So the box is probably for holding that open. The jammer is, well, I suppose probably for keeping that open. So let's go put the fan back in place, put the box in its place. What is the point of the fan, though? Let's find out. How high does it go? Whoa! That goes really, really high. There's almost no horizontal movement that you can get going on when coming off of a fan, so I can't get over to it. Hmm. Anyway, alright, so... I need the connector to be here. And then I need the other connector to be there. I only have two connectors. So the fan has to be here to blow it up. The box has to be here to blow up the connector. One connector has to be here. One connector's here. One box is here. Jammer continues to jam... that... No. Wait, the jammer's the extra piece. I don't need the jammer. If I can get a connector up here, then I can just have the connector open up that. But then what do I do with the jammer? I need to do something with the jammer. That's it. That's what I need to do. The jammer actually does not need to jam that. It needs to jam this. Because I can't spare an item to put on this pad here. I can't put the box here because I need the box over there. I can't put a connector here because I need both connectors. I can't put the fan because I need the fan to blow up the box to get, put the connector on. So yeah, there we go. Alright, let's do this again. So, connect, connect. Might as well connect to everything, I suppose. Oh, damn it, I didn't pick it up with the alternative use thing. No. Uh, I have to do it again, and it's gonna take like 10 seconds. My life is over. Da 
There we go. Beautiful. Now, should I try to get the snowman right now, or come back to this later? I have the puzzle solved, which makes things a lot easier. I should probably do it now. You know, I think I can get up there. I think I can get up there with just the box. Go down from there. Oh shit, no! Oh. Well, now everything's reset. Shit. It's okay, I think I just need the box. Where's the high point on this rock? I guess it's technically here. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Hello! Oh, seems you're missing one of your buttons. <laughs> well, that really took off. Uh, what's that noise? Okay, I was thinking there, the crazy hitless people were actually coming to me to, to explode. That would have been unpleasant. No, we're good. Just the backup singers. It's a very serious Christmas. Where I just heard a computer again. You know, it might just be part of the song. Like, maybe there's a certain part of the song that just sounds a little bit like the beeping of a computer. I'm just looking at the rock face to see if there's any hidden things in it. There is a little spot to fall down onto. There could be something down there. Maybe an item on the ground? It's possible. Worth keeping in mind for later. 
Big stairs, little stairs. Red power box. Button box. I was thinking maybe it would like teleport you inside to stand on the box because it calculated that you can jump onto it. Not quite. There's a button up there. There's a lot of freaking buttons in this place. And there's a connector up there. Alright, well to start, I need some stuff. Also, where am I going? Oh my god, this place has so many things. Is it at least three boxes, one connector? So the end goal is to get red power here. The only thing I can start with that I can tell is just a fan, so I can use that hold stuff open. Grab a box, there we go. So I should be able to use that to get this connector, I think. Yeah, I can use the box to weigh down the switch. Use the fan to actually blow me. Oh, it's not high enough. Okay, so I need to actually stand on the box. Interesting. Yeah, this was this one isn't gonna work either. I need a bunch of boxes to actually get up here. Hmm. Herm. Herm. All right, so I need to do something in here. I need more more stuff. Well, there we go. Two boxes. I think I need three boxes to get up there. But that can't be right, because I need three boxes to get three boxes? Because I only have two, and there's a third one. Nah, maybe there's a box somewhere else that I'm missing. We'll see. the connector up here, I can just... Whoa. I can just entirely bypass actually opening this thing. Of course, I can't actually reach over there, which is on purpose. I could, however, put it on some stuff. Mm, I think even if I had another box, I actually wouldn't be able to reach over there. Wouldn't be able to reach over the fence. Yeah, even two boxes wouldn't do it. That's not going to happen. Hmm. Okay, well, from up here... Oh, wait, there's a third box. I need blue power, which comes from over there, and I open that with... A box?
I'm gonna just screw myself over here. I think I needed that connector to stay up here. Hmm. I feel like I did. Hold on. If I can't get that back up there, I think I need to reset. to grab this really quickly. Oh, okay, it can be done. I just need to click super fast. Damn it! Ah. Come on, I can see the prompt. I'm mashing the key. There we go. And the red power can be used to get yet another box. <laughs> so many freaking boxes. Okay. So, to get the red power, what do I need to do? I only have one connector. Don't jump onto that. No, don't jump onto that. Stop! So I'm gonna have to go over this. Hmm. Hold on, let me see what this does. Also, where did I put my third box? Oh, right. It's over there. Okay. So that turns the fan on, and how far does this go up? What the hell? It's like nothing. Although it does allow me to do this. Ooh, that's dangerous. Is that the only use of it? That didn't quite work. This is messy. This is very annoyingly finicky. Let's see how high up this thing can go. No, wait, I can't even do that. I can't stack stuff on top of this because I can't control the switch. It's just gonna go flying off. Actually, wait a minute, that might be fine. Because it doesn't go very high, maybe I can just put it on there from here. can do this. Wait a minute. Can I do what I think I can do? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I 
Okay. That um, simplifies things. There might actually be something back there. Okay, I didn't even get that box. That is very strange. Ooh, I think there's something down there. There's like multiple platforms. Okay, well, I, I, I solved the last official puzzle. Let's get the last box just for the fun of it, I guess. Wait a minute, can I even get it? I need to be able to grab this. Come here. That doesn't actually help me do anything, but at least I have the satisfaction of having four boxes. Yay! Okay, so the pathway I saw leading around here to the left is nothing, because it's just this. So, nothing here, but I think there's something down here. I knew there'd be a cave of some sort! Yes! My Talos sense was tingling. Ooh. There's actually a portal. I wonder if this one's a Easter egg or maybe something else. Maybe something more serious. Hmm. Some spare signs. Before I go in there, I want to know what's here. These look like gates. I hope they're not going to trap me in. It's a symbol of a star. Do I want to go down or through the portal first? Let's go down first. What in the hell is that? Jump to activate jetpack. Okay, this is definitely an Easter egg. Oh my god. So if I hold down jump... It starts to jet back. Does it last forever? Uh, oh no, there's a heat thing in the bottom left of the screen. Yeah, it starts to heat up as I... Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> this is freaking awesome. Okay. I need to go have some fun with this. Oh right, now I can use it to get out. Yeah! Now, where's that going to take me? Let's see. I hope it doesn't undo my back, my, my jetpack. 
Wait, what? Did this just take me back to where I was before? Hmm? Oh, hey, does the jetpack even activate when you're falling? It does, it auto-activates to break your fall. That's cool. But, yeah, why did this take me to the same place? Wait, what? Okay, that's weird. So yeah, it's just a thing to easily get you out of there. Alright, oh my god. That is so cool. <laughs> ah, it's too bad I can't just fly off into the mountains. Because I'm sure it just reset me if I did that. And oh man, if it reset my jetpack, that would be so sad. If, if you got this item first, like, if you just went straight here to this puzzle first and you knew about this item, you could just grab the jetpack and use that to solve every single puzzle in this place. You could just jump right into the room with the uh, sigil. It's raining boxes! Oh wait, I can't... Oh no, you can't drop a box in midair. Damn. That's a shame. Well, let's see if there's any secret things around here then. This drastically increases my options. Nope. No secrets. You know what this would really be good for? This jetpack would be really good for speedrunners. I bet that's exactly what they would do. They'd go straight for that puzzle, grab the jetpack, and then just grab every sigil in this place and then leave. They would love this item. Can I go in there? I don't think I can fit. Nope. seeing anything. Hmm. Alright, let's go check the rock face around this place. Are there any other things hidden on the ledges or whatnot? I need to be careful with my heat here too. I suspect what I've found is probably everything there is, because that's two Easter eggs. Which I think is probably the max. Alright, one more rock face to check over here. To get my heat back. Or, get my heat back down, that is. Oh, you can actually fall through that. I guess I'm lucky that I didn't, because I wasn't paying attention. That is, I think I was lucky when I didn't fall through it before. Obviously that time I did. Okay, yeah, so that's it. Alright. Now... 
I think there's two more things to test, and what just happened? I just did like a crazy slide. That was weird. Okay, one question I want to ask and answer right now is how high can I go? Oh, apparently this high. Damn. Yes, you can't go too high. Another question is how far can I go? It's probably just going to reset me, but screw it. I'm going to the mountains. Okay, apparently you can go pretty far. I bet as soon as I touch... You are leaving the battlefield area? <laughs> I think it's actually- oh, it's actually stopping me from moving, isn't it? It is. Damn. And what if I touch the ground? Oh, okay. Damn. Oh, my jetpack's gone. Alright, well I think that's it for this place. That was pretty freaking awesome. Pretty cool. Yeah, I guess there's no extra computer here. I guess I was just hearing things. And that's definitely got to be my favorite easter egg. Because that jetpack is just really fun to use. Ooh. We got a hard one. Two stars. Number four. Please remember to release your pets. While it's true that not all pets will be able to adjust to living without you, many will manage, and the least you can do is give them a chance. Just remember, release your pet before you become incapacitated. If you notice any locked-in animals in your area, please take the time to free them. Leaving the doors and windows of your home open will turn it into a useful shelter. Setting up large quantities of dry food may help your pet through the transition period. Well, that's very true. Wouldn't that be strange? All these domesticated dogs and cats and whatnot just <laughs> suddenly set free. I wonder how they'd fare. Contraries. Without contraries is no progression. Attraction, repulsion, reason, and energy, love, and hate are necessary to human existence. Why do I feel like I've read this before? Didn't I just read something about contraries a little while ago? Hmm. There's also something to translate there. Do that in a second. Arcade Journal 99. Sorrel by gone. Lost day to grief. Unable to focus. Drennan is working as if possessed. Does she sleep? Getting tired. Alright, let me do some translating. Well, this is a strange one. This translates into... Energy is... Divided by eternal delight? I, I don't know, I feel like I translated that wrong. Because that... This F7 is right there. F793. I don't know, divide and then... Quotes? With no ending quotes? I'm not sure if that's correct. Obviously most of it's correct, because it forms proper words, but yeah, that divide in the quote, I don't know. I feel like it's just supposed to say energy is eternal delight, rather than like, energy is divided by eternal light, or something like that. That'd be a weird math equation. Energy divided by eternal delight equals pi. No idea. Energy is over eternal delight? More important than eternal delight? 
I don't know. This place looks quite large. Hmm. I think this is fake. Okay, it's real. I don't have enough yellow sigils for the device I need. This is crazy. You are coming to realize that the cycle cannot be ended. It can only be transcended. Transcendence comes from ceasing to be invested in the cycle. Continue your work, but do not ponder its significance. We are the process. The process is the system. The system is us. When we awaken, all will be one. I'm just gonna go ahead and disable this because it's annoying me. There we go. Let's take a look around, get a feel for this place. Ooh, flowers. This place looks large, but most of the size actually comes from the puzzle rooms, not from the hub. The hub is actually really small. This is it. And everything else is just puzzle rooms. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. Alright. I feel like doing one puzzle before I end the episode, but then again, these puzzles tend to be very large. Is there one that's short? Anyone that doesn't have, like, a million pieces? No, they all have a million pieces, don't they? Yeah, these are all really, really long. Okay, well, I'm gonna save them for the next episode, then. But let's end the episode on a fun note. I solved this one in about 20 seconds. Get on with it. Losers. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.